Hi students, this is an octahedron, 50 mm side, resting on HP on a triangular face, with one side of the triangular face making 35 degrees to VP. We have discussed this problem in video 18 by redrawing method. You have to see that video first and listen to the explanation of octahedron. What is octahedron? I am explaining it in video 18. I cannot repeat it again. Okay. So see that video to understand about the explanation of octahedron, how it looks like, what are its features, what are its features. Now, we are going to draw this by auxiliary projection method. Instead of bringing this CDE to XY, I bring XY on to CDE so that this is X1, Y1. Project a new plan. What distance to take? The distance to the plan from XY. A and D are this far away. On the projector through A, I locate A1. And on the projector through D, I locate D1. Then B and C on the projector through B, I locate B1 and C1. Then E1 and F1. Connect them. See, you can do it in two minutes. You have got the auxiliary plan. How is the octahedron now? The octahedron is lying on the ground on triangle CDE dotted triangle. Triangle CDE. How are the edges of the triangle now? The edge CD is perpendicular to VP. CD is perpendicular to VP. Since this is an equilateral triangle, this angle is 30. This angle also when extended is 30. This angle is 60, so this angle is 30. You have to draw it. In redrawing, what did we do? We redraw this plan such that C E D E D we made 35 degrees to XY. So you have to draw an X2 by 2. You have to draw an X2 by 2 such that here I am making CD. CD inclined at 35 degrees to it. X2, Y2. Now draw a new elevation. Projectors. Okay, six projectors, six point six projectors. C dash, D dash, and D dash are zero distance away. C dash, D dash, and D dash are zero distance. So on the projector through C, you have got C one dash. On the projector through D, you have got D one dash. On the projector through E, you have got E one dash. A dash, B dash, and F dash. F dash, A dash, B dash, same distance away. A, A one dash. E, I mean, F, F1 dash, F1 dash, and B, B1 dash. Now connect, I will connect and explain.
This is the derivation. E dash e, e f axis which you have taken initially. There are three axes, but initially I marked E f as an axis. So E f I have reproduced there. Now the octet is lying. Look at this. Square faces in contact. You will get a feel of the object. Plan xy elevation. What is the sequence of drawing? Plan first, elevation second, auxiliary plan, and the final elevation. You can do this in say 12 to 15 minutes by auxiliary, whereas in redrawing you will take minimum 40 minutes. I will tell you. Very, very important question. Now, if the question says, if the question says the plan of EF is 90 degrees, you have to draw x to y to 90 degrees and draw an elevation there. It will be a squarish, almost a squarish, squarish, squarish shape. Very, very interesting to see. You can explore various possibilities. This is x to y to. You can examine what happens when x to y to position changes. Okay. Thank you.